How's it going guys? Wanted to bring you a quick Wayfinders speed farming guide for Grand Deceiver Morris. This is a really important boss fight to farm because it can drop an artifact that increases your gold generation and gold is pretty scarce right now in the game. So a lot of people are running this and it can be really annoying with all the randomized boxes, but I'm going to show you some really simple tips that are going to massively increase your farm speed and allow you to skip out on all that randomness. So uh, if you like this, like, comment, subscribe, you know the whole deal, but uh, let's hop into it. Okay, so um, the most annoying part of this fight and farming it, unless you're trying to like one shot it with like an AP character, is figuring out which box the boss is in. Okay, um, this is something that has just recently gained popularity. It's going around on the subreddits and on Discord. Um, I'm not the one who found it, but um, it's a super helpful tip. And that is, if you look at the back of these chests, you can see that there are two bolts, right? One bolt, two bolt. The chest that has the vertical line in the bolt, meaning up and down, is the one that the boss is in. So if you look at this, you can see that this one has vertical lines in the bolt. Or if I go and I look at this one, it has horizontal lines in the bolt, if you look at the bottom of the screen, right? So if I open up this one, it's gonna make just a mini deceiver. And if you aren't using this little skip method, then you're gonna have to fight a ton of these guys and it's really gonna slow down your farm. But if you go and you pick the one that has the vertical lines, the boss will spawn, no problem and you're able to just go and focus the entire fight on him, you don't actually have to go and deal with all of the mini deceivers and how much of a time waste that is, okay? So that is my first tip, and I think that's a really, really important one because that cuts down significantly on the amount of time you're gonna be spending on this boss. Now, what that tip also allows is you don't have to worry about any of the other things. You only have to worry about finding that chest. And that can be really annoying towards the later stages of this fight because there's a bunch of booby trap chests that explode. Now, they're pretty unforgiving if you're just regularly running through them. But my suggestion in terms of speeding up the amount of uh, like time or sorry, lowering the amount of time it takes to find out the real chest is to bunny hop through them. So I just hop. And then as soon as I see one that's kind of triggered, I go and I activate the bunny hop so that I can quickly speed through. And then now I've just cleared out all of the booby trap chests on that side of the map. And I haven't taken any damage, uh, which means I don't have to slow down and do potions or anything like that. So now I'm only left with the ones that can have the deceiver in them or the uh, little mini guys. And then I'm just gonna run around. I'm gonna look at the back of the chests and see which one is the real, uh, is the real boss. And that just makes this entire fight so much easier. You really don't have to worry about anything at all, uh, except for the boss's little dash attack. Um, and that is my last tip that I wanna share with you, which is the boss's move pattern. So once you open up the box that the boss has in it, that the boss is in, excuse me, um, he's going to do like an initial chomp. So you just wanna move away from the box. Um, it really doesn't do a lot of damage if you get hit by it, but the more annoying thing is the charge that he does right after that. And that can be super tricky because it really locks onto you. So if you dodge to the left or the right, it can be kind of difficult. Sometimes he'll just turn with you. So the real move is to dodge into the boss. It will immediately stop his charge and it'll make it so you take no damage from it. And it basically trivializes this entire fight. So you don't have to take any damage at all. So again, we move away from the boss. He's gonna go ahead and do his little charge. And I'm just gonna dodge straight into it. You see he immediately staggers and then you're free to just take out the boss. And, uh, and, and that's the entire fight. Um, now those tips, they might seem like, uh, you know, it's not super helpful or it only speeds it up a little bit. Um, but overall you're going to be farming this boss a metric ton, right? You're like, you're talking 50 plus runs to try and get this artifact to drop because it's a super low drop rate. So any little, um, speed gains that you can find and optimizations you can find are going to help you out tremendously overall. So um, I hope this helped you out. I hope you learned something that you didn't know. Uh, again, look at the bolts on the back of the boxes, go and do a bunny hop through the explosive ones. If you don't know how to bunny hop, leave a comment. I'll make a video on how to do it. It's really simple. And then also just dodge into the boss. It's kind of counterproductive, but um, that's all there is to it. Uh, let me know if you guys have any more questions. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all of you. And uh, that's it for me.
Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Peace.